Ready to break into a rewarding career? Elwood National Forge can help. Elwood National Forge produces critical defense-rated parts to all branches of the United States military, meaning each day our employees are doing their part to support the men and women protecting our country. With multiple positions currently available and several career paths to choose from, Elwood National Forge offers on-site and on-the-job training, competitive pay and benefits, including 401k and insurance that start the date of hire, paid time off, and long-term job security. We'd love to support you in building a career. To learn more about becoming part of the Elwood National Forge family, visit enfjobs.com. With locations in Chippenville and Tynesta, Tynesta Builder Supply is a full-service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries and general hardware merchandise, Tynesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tynestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. Looking for a place to hone your skills in the offseason? How about just a friendly pickup game, or even a new league to join? Then head to The Hub at PF and Russell. An all-weather athletic facility, The Hub has everything you need to get your game on, from basketball and volleyball courts to indoor batting cages. And more than just an athletic facility, The Hub also plays host to special events like concerts and worship services. The Hub is a proud supporter of local athletes and wants to thank the community for all its support over the last two years. Icy Ink Screen Printing and Embroidery, located at 2043 Pennsylvania Avenue, East in Warren. We offer screen printing and embroidery on apparel, as well as graphic design, web design, photography, and custom frames, and specialize in youth fundraisers. We also offer photography, photography services and custom frames. Check out our Icebox stores online at icyink.com, or give us a call at 814-688-0034. Let's meet, drink coffee, and design some cool shirts. Be cool, wear Icy. Hey, this is Joe. And this is Skenny. And we're the hosts of the Beehive Sports Podcast. Do you like uncut looks in all things sports? If you said yes, then this is a sports show for you. Live weekly shows broadcasted on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, covering everything from local sports in northwestern Pennsylvania all the way to the pros. Not to mention the hottest takes you will ever hear. Follow us on all social media platforms and tune into episodes today. Hi, Chris Rossetti here from D910sports.com. I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of Western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wings served on Thursday wing nights that you're at. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. The Bucktail Bucks have made the long journey to Wolverine Mountain in search of their second win of the season. Meanwhile, the Wolverines come home for homecoming in search of their first win of the season. It's Bucktail and Sheffield Saturday afternoon football on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. The Allegheny Grill in Foxburg was voted number one in Pennsylvania for waterfront restaurants. Stop down and find out why. Make a reservation today at AlleghenyGrill.com. The Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, where you come for the food and stay for the view. Welcome into the Rehab Center pregame show, everyone. The Rehab Centers are chiropractors caring for health. Visit them online at therehabcenters.com, and that center spelled the old English way with an R-E-S. You're on the drive to the game, brought to you by Warren Tire Center. Warren Tire Center, make sure you get to the game in comfort. Visit them online at warrentirecenter.com. Our game stream, as always, is brought to you by the Computer Guru in Leaper. Check them out at computerguru.net. Welcome into the Park Avenue Motor Car Broadcast booth. Brian Hagberg with you here for the YDL Sports Network. And if you have a fender bender, we can mender at Park Avenue Motor Car. Give them a call at 814-726-9728. Park Avenue Motor Car, proudly serving Warren County for 30 years. Interesting matchup we have here this afternoon. Bucktail and Sheffield have met once already this season. In fact, it was the opening week of the season, week one where these two teams hooked up, that ended up being a 
41 to 12 win for the Bucks. That is their lone win on the season. They uh, lost to Elk County Catholic two weeks later. They had a bye uh, in between. And so in week three, they lost to Elk County Catholic 30 to 16 and followed that up with a loss last week at Otto Eldred 52-32 against the Terrors. Sheffield, meanwhile, on a 14-game losing streak, looking to end that streak here this afternoon. They uh, were defeated by Otto Eldred here at home, 54-6, to and then went on the road after a bye to Elk County Catholic, where they were shut out 57 to nothing. And in that week one matchup for Bucktail, uh, Brody Pence was the star, had a touchdown pass, a touchdown run, and uh, Braylon Fantaski had an interception return and a touchdown run in the fourth quarter to kind of put things away. Uh, Pence scored both of his touchdowns in the first to help Bucktail build a 20 0 lead. Uh, 24 and 25, 24 yard run, 25 yard pass. And uh, also, uh, Brett Mason had a 36 yard run in that first quarter as well. Tanner Pettengill's touchdown run in the second made it 26 0. But Colby Barr on a one yard sneak made it 26 6 at half. But uh, Fantaski's 61 yard run and 90 yard interception return in the fourth quarter put the game out of reach. He finished with eight carries for 120 yards at the 25 yard touchdown pass. Pence ran eight times for 84 yards. And caught a 25-yard touch and caught the 25-yard touchdown pass. Jeremiah Richardson had a breakout game for the Wolverines. 15 carries for 91 yards and a touchdown. The Wolverines second of the game. And uh, also followed that up, had a late touchdown in that loss here against Otto Eldred a couple of weeks ago, uh, trying to build some momentum for the uh, Wolverines at the end of a difficult game for them. Uh, but again, El County Catholic, who's off to a fantastic start this season, uh, able to take control a week ago. You know, and really for Sheffield, it's about finding balance, getting a way to get these games closer so that they can build upon something. They talked in the preseason about laying a foundation last year. They thought, especially with the the new schedule, here in District 9 where they would be playing teams of similar size, playing them a couple of times. Uh, again, this is the second time they're squaring off against Bucktail. They'll see uh, Otto Eldred and Elk County again this season, along with a trip to Cameron County and a home contest against Countersport. But the Wolverines really felt that this schedule maybe would lend itself to the ability to close the gap, as it were, uh, and try to narrow some of that scoring deficit. And to date, it just hasn't quite worked out for them. They've not really been able to get much going through the air, uh, though Richardson has been a pleasant surprise on the ground for them. It just hasn't been consistent enough uh, to get those, uh, those points on the board and keep the defense off the field for the Wolverines. Uh, Bucktail, meantime... Again, looking to uh, pick up its second win of the season. That ended a 12-game losing streak for the Bucks, But then they uh, went on again, fell to uh, Elk County Catholic, uh, who's beating everybody right now, uh, and also uh, lost to Otto Eldred, who's many thought was going to be Elk, a tough challenge for Elk County Catholic last night. And uh, instead, the Crusaders came out and really took it to the Terrors. We'll take a look at the uh, out-of-town scoreboard from last night here in just a few minutes. And again, want to take a moment now to say thank you to the hub at PF in Russell. Fitch Disposal, for all your residential and commercial disposal needs, call Fitch Disposal at 814-968-3521. And Trail Fest at Jake's Rocks is going on right now. Uh, up at the trails at Jake's Rocks, head on out to Kidzu Beach Park, take a shuttle up to the trailhead, and have yourselves a great time up at the trails at Jake's Rocks. Trail Fest going on right now through uh, 6 p.m. today and then 10 to 2 
tomorrow head on up to the trails at Jake's Rocks for that great event. And we're going to take a quick commercial break and be right back. We'll get to our keys to the game, our players to watch, and that out-of-town scoreboard. This is the Rehab Center pregame show on the YDL Sports Network High School Football, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Whether retirement is just around the corner or years away, John Bon Giovanni, Lucas Slazak, and Adam Jack of Generational Wealth Management in Erie and Bradford are here for you. John, a Forbes recognized best in state wealth advisor, Lucas and Adam provide customized investment advisory solutions and retirement planning services. Generational Wealth Management offers world class investment services and internationally recognized insurance products from Northwestern Mutual, an industry leader. The Generational Wealth Management team provides a high level of expertise and service to their professional and business clients. Contact the Erie office at 814-651-0838 or the Bradford office at 814-368-4065 or check them out online at gwm.nm.com. What's the recipe for surprising the kids, treating yourself, and ditching dish duty? You're looking at it. Order your Pizza Hut faves like original pan, original stuffed crust, and more at PizzaHut.com. No one out pizzas the hut. And welcome back here to Wolverine Mountain. Just a shade under, or a shade over eight minutes to go until the opening kickoff. This is the Rehab Center pregame show. Brian Hagberg with you here for the YDL Sports Network. I also want to take a moment to say thank you to Icy Ink and Warren. Let's meet, drink coffee, and design some cool shirts. Be cool. Wear Icy. Visit them online at icyink.com. That's I-C-Y-Y ink.com. Pizza Hut of Grove City, Clarion, St. Mary's, Clearfield, Dubois, Brookville, Phillipsburg State College, Belfont, and Lock Haven, and Freedom Investment Management Group. For all your financial wealth, financial needs, go to freedomwealthcoach.com. I want to say thank you to those great sponsors for helping us bring you this afternoon's ball game. And again, it is uh, homecoming here on Wolverine Mountain, so the uh, homecoming festivities will take place at halftime, but uh, neither team with a band here this afternoon, so it should not be an extended halftime period. And uh, our good friend, uh, J.J. Michaels, the public address announcer here on Wolverine Mountain as the uh, teams are coming out for introduction of the starting lineups is playing the Imperial March. Well done, J.J. Going to give you props on that one. Let's uh, take a look now at our out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by Swift Kennedy and Company. Swift Kennedy and Company is the official insurance provider for the YDL Sports Network. Visit them online at swiftkennedyandco.com. Swift Kennedy Company Insurance with Integrity since 1921. Taking a look, last night in District 9, Red Bank Valley came back from an early deficit that held off Ridgeway late for a 42-33 win. Central Clarion County all over Bradford, 48-7. Dubois stopped Brookville, 24-14. Countersport, since giving up 70 a couple of weeks ago, has pitched back-to-back shutouts. They got another one last night over Cameron County, 22 to nothing. Clearfield continued its early season roll, 42 to 14 over Penn's Valley. Valley, excuse me. Kerwinsville, 33. Everett, 13. Elk County Catholic all over Otto Eldred, 49 to six for the Crusaders. Union AC Valley, 37. Kane, 19. And Carn City on top of Montauk, 35 to six. Keystone top Smithport 41 14. And St. Mary's beat Punxsutawney 34 to 21. Over in District 10 last night, it was Cambridge Springs 33, Iroquois 7. St. Francis, New York 28, Cathedral Prep 26. Mercer blanks Cochranton 45 to nothing. Eisenhower top Lakeview 35 13. Reynolds shut out Maplewood 64 to nothing. Huge game there for Reynolds running back Jalen Wagner. 300 yards and eight touchdowns. Uh, one of the uh, all-time great performances and uh, rushing performances in Mercer County, according to uh, Bob Greenberg of Sports Radio, 96.7. Sagertown blanks Union City, 35 nothing. Northwestern with a major upset in District 10, 21-20 over Oil City. Seneca tops Titusville, 46-35. Sharpsville stays unbeaten with a 14-12 win over Greenville. Sharon, 33. Wilmington, 14. Grove City's Hunter Holman 
with a two-point conversion with 18 seconds to go, pushed the Eagles past Slippery Rock, 22-21. Meadville all over Connie at 62 to nothing. It was General McLean, 37, Corey, 20. Fort LaBeouf, Edge Northeast, 24-21. Harbor Creek, 42, Gerard, 6. Butler, 37, Erie, 20. And McDowell, 48, Canada Prep Academy, 6. And then this afternoon or evening in District 9, uh, we have this game about to get started here in just about five minutes. And Brockway is at Port Allegheny over in District 10. St. John's Catholic Prep out of Maryland is at Kennedy Catholic. Mercyhurst Prep heads down to Franklin. Hickory is at Farrell. And Fairview is at Warren. That game will be played in Youngsville. So that was our out-of-town scoreboard. Again, brought to you today by Swift Kennedy and Company. You can visit them online at swiftkennedyandco.com. They are the official insurance provider for the YDL Sports Network. I'm going to turn our attention now to our players to watch. Our players to watch are sponsored by All-American Awards and Engraving. They can put almost anything on almost everything. Visit them online at allamericanhq.com. First, uh, we'll take a look for the visiting Bucktail Bucks. And this afternoon, we'll go with uh, Brody Pence as our player to watch. Had a couple of touchdowns in the first meeting between these two teams. If he can uh, come close to replicating that performance, it uh, could go a long way towards securing the second win of the year for Bucktail. And for Sheffield, our player to watch this afternoon, going to look at the quarterback, Colby Barr. Uh, if he can cut down on the uh, turnovers and keep the offense moving, keep those chains moving down the field, and keep the Sheffield defense off the field, uh, this could be the game that Sheffield snaps that lengthy losing streak. Those are our players to watch. Again, brought to you by All-American Awards and Engraving. Visit them online at allamericanhq.com. And now our keys to the game, brought to you today by the Warren County Visitors Bureau, Warren County's Pennsylvania's all-season destination. Warren County, simple, pure, real. Keys to the game, again, for Sheffield, it's just finding a way to move the ball offensively, limit the turnovers, and try to keep that offense on the field for as long as they can. For Bucktail, uh, again, it's just being consistent, ground that ball down, Try to get off some of those chunk plays and get out to an early lead. Plant those seeds of doubt for the Wolverines as the game progresses. Those are our keys to the game. Again, brought to you by the Warren County Visitors Bureau. Visit them online at wcbb.net. Warren County, simple, pure, real. And that will just about do it for the Rehab Center pregame show. We're going to take a quick commercial break and be right back. For the start of our first quarter, this is high school football on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Need plumbing, heating, or air conditioning services in Western PA? Then call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning in Clarion today at 814-226-8695. At Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning, we believe that a service-oriented business like ours should give you quality care and a quick response time. That's why we stand on our promise, offering you reliable 24-hour service that gets your job done right when you need it. We can also be found on the web at lutonsplumbing.com. Again, that number is 814 <laughs> Through the perilous fight, or the rampart of the earth, where the galaxy streams, and the rockets are clear, the monster's beginning, it's through the night, and our flag was still there. 
And that was Emma McBride with the national anthem here this afternoon. Back here from Wolverine Mountain, we're just about set to start the first quarter as the teams come out for the coin toss. Our first quarter this afternoon is brought to you by Elwood National Forge. It's never too soon nor too late to set another goal or dream another dream. If now is the time for you, Elwood National Forge can help. With multiple positions currently available and several career paths to choose from, Elwood National Forge offers on-site and on-the-job training, competitive pay and benefits, including 401k and insurance that start the date of hire, paid time off, and long-term job security. To learn more about becoming part of the Elwood National Forge family, visit enfjobs.com. So Sheffield will receive the opening kickoff. As the teams gather and get set here for the opening kickoff. And we'll see the uh, Wolverine offense on the field right away. Again, that, uh, that key for them is to find a way to get this offense moving and not just moving between the 20s, but find a way to put the ball in the end zone. Well, I apologize for that uh, disruption there. We've got a timeout on the field. Sheffield received the kickoff, took over first and 10 at their own 34. Jeremiah Richardson with a seven-yard run on first down. We go into a timeout again. Apologize for uh, that disruption. Had a uh, minor power outage here uh, in the press box at Sheffield. Kind of cut things out for us. So second and three coming up for Sheffield. Uh, 
And Barr gives and hit in the backfield and escaping a tackle. Then wrapped up at the lawn and scrimmage that was Gage Mont McAlouche. Looked like uh, Bucktail thought the ball came out, but it did not. We'll make it third and about three coming up. It's a Luton's Plumbing Heating and Air Conditioning third down. So big early early uh, possession, third down coming up for Sheffield. Again, this offense just finding a way to stay on the field. Certainly doesn't want to open the game with a three and out. Barr has Mont McAlouche and Richardson in the backfield with him. Give us to Richardson, trying to turn the corner. Goes up and out of bounds. Looks like he's going to be about a yard shy of the first down mark. And we'll see if uh, how aggressive Sheffield coach Mike Barr wants to be. Of course, it'll depend on the spot. It is a fourth and one coming up. And again, first couple of minutes of the Elwood National Forge first quarter here from Sheffield. And the Wolverines send the offense out on the field. And Barr gives to Richardson off right tackle. He's going to be close. Looked like he might have gotten just enough. But again, we'll depend on the spot. And that is a Ty Nesta Builder Supply first down for Sheffield. Big fourth down conversion to start things off here for the Wolverines, opening possession of the ball game. And now again, the question, can they capitalize? Keep this ball moving, find a way to put it in the end zone. And Barr fakes the handoff. Looks like he's going to keep it himself. Designed run. And Bucktail sniffed that out immediately. That was number two, Brody Pence on the stop. Loss of five. Loss of five. We'll make it second and 15. At the Sheffield 39. So the Wolverines get the big fourth down conversion and then immediately go backwards. Nice play there by Pence to string out that design quarterback keeper and force Barr to the sideline. Second and 15. And movement up front. And that is going to be a false start on the Wolverines. So they will go back another five yards. And that takes them right back to where this drive started at their own 34. Second and 20. And Barr gives to Richardson, looking to turn the corner on the right side. Richardson has some space. Jeremiah Richardson with a nice pickup. Looks like about 12 yards on the carry there. Solid second, or second down run on second and 20. We'll make it a third and eight. Another Luton's Plumbing Heating and Air Conditioning third down. When you get backed up on third and long, call Luton's Plumbing Heating and Air Conditioning to get you moving again. Visit them online at lutonsplumbing.com. And again, depending on what kind of uh, positive yardage the Wolverines could get here, could be very well looking at being in four down territory one more time. But third and eight coming up. Give it to Richardson. Going to try the left side. Picks up some blockers. Jeremiah Richardson out in traffic. Looks like he might have the first down, but there is a penalty back near the 45. 
We'll see what the call is there. It looks like it's going to go against Sheffield. And a Wolverine is injured. So I just heard the official say it was a hold on the Wolverines. So that's going to back them up 10 yards and erase that first down carry for Richardson. So Sheffield's going to have the ball on its own 36. And the uh, Wolverine player is up. That was... believe I'm not going to I'm not going to announce the name there was a a number not on our roster here this afternoon but at the end of the day it will be third and long for Sheffield from its own 36 they need to get to the bucktail 46 in order to get a first down. Third down for the Wolverines. And Richardson going to go around the left side again, but not much there. And bring up a long fourth down for Sheffield. And it sounds like the Wolverines are going to punt. So big penalty wipes out what would have been a first down run for Richardson. Wolverines unable to convert and now will punt. And that is Braylon Fantaski back to receive the kick. Colby Barr to punt. Fantaski backs up, fields it, picks up a block. And that one's going to be penalized. So Fantasti is going to run this one back all the way. But it will be all for naught as there is a penalty flag way back at the 34-yard line. Let's see what the call is. I believe it's a block in the back. And the official's got to come all the way back. It is a block in the back against Bucktail. So no punt return touchdown for the Bucks. But they will take over first and 10 at their own 23. And again, our first quarter brought to you this afternoon by Elwood National Forge. To learn more about becoming part of the Elwood National Forge family, visit enfjobs.com. So the Bucks will have the ball for the first time. Scoreless here so far. And we're going to have some penalty flags and a false start on Bucktail. That will back them up to their own 18. It'll be first and 15 now for Bucktail. Bucks come out and fumble the pitch, but it looks like they were able to recover it. I believe that was Fantaski that fell on it. 
ball spotted at the 14 yard line. Second down. And, and Alex ball. Marfink in the backfield for Sheffield. And Bucktail avoids potential turnover of its own right there, but we'll make it second in 19 now for the Bucks. And Pence back to pass, looking, looking. Now throws, nearly intercepted, but caught. And going to go all the way, Braylon Fantaski. 81 yards. Braylon Fantaski, as Brody Pence escaped the pressure, found Fantaski, and he was off to the races. So Fantaski makes up for not getting the long punt return touchdown with an 81-yard touchdown reception. And five seconds on the play clock for the uh, two-point try, and they're going to run out of time. And that's going to be a delay of game on the Bucks. Delay of game penalty on Bucktail. So that will back up the try another five yards. As Bucktail will go for two. Pence back to pass, looking, looking, fires, and it is incomplete in the end zone, so the try is no good. But in the first quarter, it's Bucktail, or Bucktail 6, Sheffield nothing. We will be right back with more high school football on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Ready to break into a rewarding career? Elwood National Forge can help. Elwood National Forge produces critical defense-rated parts to all branches of the United States military, meaning each day our employees are doing their part to support the men and women protecting our country. With multiple positions currently available and several career paths to choose from, Elwood National Forge offers on-site and on-the-job training, competitive pay and benefits, including 401k and insurance that start the date of hire, paid time off, and long-term job security. We'd love to support you in building a career. To learn more about becoming part of the Elwood National Forge family, visit enfjobs.com. Back here on Wolverine Mountain, an 81-yard pass from Brody Prince, Pence to Braylon Fantaski has Bucktail on the board, 6-0 over Sheffield. And it will be Brett Mason to kick off for the Bucks. Richardson back deep to receive for the Wolverines. Kick is away. And Richardson takes it from his own 10. Looking to get to the sideline. And he nearly gets there, but is chopped down at the 28-yard line. That's where Sheffield will take over, trailing 6 nothing here. With just about five minutes to go in the Elwood National Forge first quarter. Second possession for the Wolverines. Converted a fourth down on the opening possession. Looked like they had converted a third and eight, but a holding penalty backed them up. Wolverines unable to recover and punted the ball away. Richardson and Gage Montmacalouche flank Colby Barr. The give is to Richardson off left side. Picks up a couple. Gets out to the 30. Pickup of two makes it second and eight for Sheffield. Fuck 
And Richardson, his best runs have come to the right side of that Wolverines offensive line. We'll see if they go back to it here, second and eight. Give us to Richardson. He does try the right side, but this time is met right in the hole by Tanner Pettengill. Uh, no gain, maybe a short loss on the play. We'll bring up another Luton's Plumbing Heating and Air Conditioning third down for the Wolverines. Those are just under four minutes to go. The Elwood National Forge first quarter. Wolverines trailing the Bucks 6 0. Looking to pick up a third down here on their second possession of the game. And the snap goes over Barr's head, but we've got a whistle. I believe there's going to be a, some kind of movement, and they are signaling. False start on Sheffield. Probably beneficial to the Wolverines in that case, uh, as it looked like Bar the, as the snap went over Bar's head, and uh, Bucktail had a couple of players ready to pounce on it. And Sheffield is going to take a timeout and talk it over. We'll take a timeout with them. This is High School Football on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Golfing at one of the prettiest golf courses around is what you get when you play around at Hunter Station Golf Club just outside of Tanesta. Located in the Allegheny Mountains with a spectacular view of the Allegheny River, Hunter Station offers something for everyone. The rolling hills of the front nine, coupled with a back nine situated along the banks of the Allegheny River, create some of the best views in all of northwestern PA. And when you're done with your round, enjoy a delicious meal or a cold drink in our restaurant and bar. Looking for a place to stay? Hunter Station has you covered there too with play and stay packages. Find out more at HunterStation.com. We're back here at Sheffield. Wolverines take a timeout. Going to be have a third and 14 when they come out of this one. Looking to answer the Brody Pence to Braylon Fantaski 81 yard touchdown from the Bucks on their opening possession. Sheffield, after picking up a first down on its first possession, was forced to punt. Now facing third and 14. Barr takes the snap, fakes, rolls under pressure, throws, and just out of the reach of Dylan Hardwick. Falls incomplete. We'll bring up another fourth down and punting situation for the Wolverines. And on that first punt, Fantaski. Made a house call, but it was called back for a block in the back. Fantaski, short kick. Goes out of bounds. Let's see where they mark it here. At the Sheffield 42. That's where Bucktail will take over. First and 10, leading 6 nothing. The Bucks look to add to their lead. Going to start this drive in Sheffield territory. Fence under center has Fantaski and Penn go with him. And the ball is loose, and Sheffield falls on it. Huge turnover for the Wolverines. Matt Lobdell on the recovery for Sheffield, and the Wolverines get a big boost here in the first quarter. Disrupt the exchange and come away with the football. So first and 10 for Sheffield from its own 46. 
Barr in the gun has three receivers left. Sends Richardson in motion. Fake to him. Give to Mont McAloosh right up the gut. Big collision there. Pickup of one for Mont McAloosh. Second and nine coming up for Sheffield. Wolverines really need to find a way to capitalize on this turnover, give themselves some much-needed momentum here in the late stages of the Elwood National Forge first quarter. And now Barr comes out, trips to his left. Richardson in motion again. This time they give to him, trying to turn the corner, and he's going to be hit and dropped for a loss. And that was Fantaski with the big tackle for loss. Moves Sheffield back to the 41. It is a third and 15 coming up for the Wolverines. And that's right. When you get backed up on third and long, call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. You get you moving again. Visit them online at lutonsplumbing.com. Third and 15 coming up for Sheffield. Bar fakes, rolls right, under pressure, throws. Looking for Hardwick and just too high. Another fourth down coming up here for Sheffield. And again, it will be Barr on the punt. Fantaski will go back to receive for the Bucks. Bar kicks, and it goes out of bounds on the far sideline. And they're going to mark it out of bounds at the, looks like about the 38, just where Bucktail will take over. So no damage done for the Bucks on that fumble. We have just about 100 seconds to go here in the Elwood National Forge first quarter. Again, is Bucktail leading Sheffield 6 0. And Pence gives right up the gut. Pettengill still on his feet, dragging defenders down into Sheffield territory to the 43. And that is a tightness of Builder Supply first down for the Bucks. Picks up a Bucktail first down, first and ten at the Sheffield 43. We've got an official's timeout. Looks like, again, another injured Wolverine as they're getting him uh, off the field. It is 33, Jameer Mickle coming off. It is first and 10, Bucktail at the Sheffield 43. Bucks looking to add to their 6 0 lead. Fake. Looks like there's miscommunication. The ball's on the ground again. And Sheffield has it again. Some miscommunication there between Pence and the running back ends up with the ball on the ground and the Wolverines on top of it. Looked like Pence was going to be able to fall on it, but it squirted right out underneath him and was just laying against his back. Sheffield able to fall on it and take over at their own 47. A minute 20 to play here. In the Elwood National Forge first quarter is Bucktail six, Sheffield nothing. Wolverines already with forced two turnovers. 
Give is to Richardson, and he's hit and dropped for a loss. And that was Brody Pence who shot through the line. And that's going to move it all the way back to the 39. Make that second and looks like 17. As we have about 40 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Wolverines facing another second and long after recovering the second bucktail fumble of the quarter. Bar fakes, rolls right. Under pressure. Going to keep it himself and just run out of bounds. And that will likely do it for the first quarter. As Sheffield just now huddling up. So after one quarter of play here on Wolverine Mountain, it is Bucktail 6, Sheffield nothing. We'll be right back with more high school football on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Located at 229 Liberty Street in downtown Warren, Freedom Investment Management Group has a passion for helping people manage and preserve their wealth. Partners Rob Maring and Dave Close, along with all the professionals at Freedom Investment Management Group, are committed to providing the highest level of service to our clients. Every member of our team is experienced, educated, and passionate. We intentionally maintain a low client-to-team member ratio so that we can consistently deliver concierge-like service. Simply put, we are not like many other wealth management firms. Come experience the difference. Visit us online at Freedom Wealth Co. Coach.com. Have a fender bender? We can mender at Park Avenue Motor Car. Bring your vehicle to Ron and the crew at Park Avenue Motor Car, 7 South Carver Street in Warren, or call 814 726 9728. Park Avenue Motor Car, proudly serving Warren County for 30 years. And we're back here on Wolverine Mountain, getting set to start the second quarter. Sheffield will have a third and 18. Our second quarter this afternoon brought to you by Icy Inc. and Warren. Let's meet, drink coffee, and design some cool shirts. Be cool. Wear Icy. Visit them online at icyinc.com. That's icyyinc.com. Uh, Luton's plumbing, heating, and air conditioning. Third down coming up for the Wolverines. Bar takes a snap, fakes, rolls right, under pressure, and Bar going to keep it and just run out of bounds again, well short of the marker. And we're seeing almost every time Bar does that bootleg, number 54, Evan Hillier, is right back there to greet him. And Wolverines are going to be forced to punt. Fantaski back on his 35. Bar back to kick. Gets the kick away. And it will go out of bounds. They're going to mark it at the Bucktail 47. It's where the Bucks will take over. Leading here 6 nothing, Just underway in the second quarter. couple of fumbles on the last two Bucktail possessions in early downs as well as uh, given Sheffield some opportunities been unable to capitalize gave his to Pettengill off left tackle He's, or excuse me that was a uh, 21 21 Brett Mason not 22 Pettengill and he's out to the Sheffield 46 they get second and four after that six-yard pickup. And Bucktail looking to just finish a drive right now without a turnover. 
Again, there's fumbles on the last two possessions. And there's another fumbled snap. And they, they blew the whistle. As uh, the snap was fumbled, but Pence was able to gain possession enough while he was on his knees to draw the whistle. Loss of a yard on the play makes it third and five. Luton's plumbing, heating, air conditioning, third down coming up for the Bucks. Pence takes a snap, fakes a handoff, rolls to his right, is able to escape a tackle and goes down the sideline and out of bounds. That's enough for a tight nest to builder supply. First down for Bucktail. Gets all the way down to the Sheffield 33 on that carry. First and 10 coming up for the Bucks. Fence gives right off left tackle. We've got a flag down as Fantasky runs over him. And the ball came out at the end. They're going to call him down. Uh, but again, a flag way back near the line of scrimmage. And this looks like it might be in the area of holding. The officials giving some kind of explanation to one of the Bucktail players. And it is a hold against the Bucks. So we'll replay first down here. And the Bucks will have it at the it's like the 42 called the 43 first and 20 first and 20 coming up for the bucks and we've got movement up front early and just a sloppy start to this game after the uh, opening drive touchdown. Uh, Bucktail just kind of shooting itself in the foot here. Penalties, turnovers, fumbled snaps. And it's now first and 25 from the Sheffield 47. Just about nine minutes to go here in the Icy Inc. second quarter. Still just 6 nothing Bucktail so far. Wolverines were unable to capitalize on any either of those turnovers. And we've got another whistle and a timeout called by Bucktail. We're going to take a quick timeout with them. This is high school football on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Icy Ink Screen Printing and Embroidery, located at 2043 Pennsylvania Avenue, East in Warren. We offer screen printing and embroidery on apparel, as well as graphic design, web design, photography, and custom frames, and specialize in youth fundraisers. We also offer photography, photography services and custom frames. Check out our Icebox stores online at icyink.com, or give us a call at 814-688-0034. Let's meet, drink coffee, and design some cool shirts. Be cool, wear Icy. Welcome back to Wolverine Mountain. Just a tick under nine minutes to play here in the Icy Inc. Second quarter, Bucktail leading Sheffield 6-0. Bucks will have a first and 25 coming up. A couple of penalties have backed them up. They are still in Sheffield territory at the Wolverines 47. And Pence fakes, fires, and incomplete. That's 
Pass for Brett Mason was short. We'll make it second and 25. And give right off left tackle. That time it is Pettengill on the carry. He gets down across the 40 to the 38. But it will be a third and long coming up for the Bucks. A Luton's Plumbing, Heating, Air Conditioning third down. My friends at Luton's Plumbing uh, certainly getting their money's worth out of their sponsorship here this afternoon. Call it third and 15. It's 10 yards for Pettengill on that carry. And Pence going to keep it himself. Looking to get to the sideline. Brody Pence going to be close to the first down marker. Let's see where they spot him. And he's going to be, looks like about a yard, yard and a half short. Stopped at the 25-yard line. We'll be fourth down. I imagine the Bucks will keep the offense on the field for this one. It's a fourth down and one. A big fourth down coming up here for the Wolverines if they can get a stop on this fourth and one. Ben's going to keep it himself right up the gut, and he's got plenty for the first down and then some. That will be a tight nest of builder supply. First down for Bucktail. And this drive is being built by Ty Nesta Builder Supply with locations in Shippenville and Ty Nesta. Visit them online at tynestabuilder.us. First down now from the Sheffield 22. After the Pence keeper gave the Bucks first down. And Pence going to hand it off. That's Fantaski cutting and weaving and going all the way for the Bucktail touchdown. His second of the game. A 22 yard run there for Braylon Fantaski. Bucks will line up to go for two. Pence going to keep it himself, looking for the corner, and he's going to get there. Brody Pence on the conversion. Uh, with 6.55 to go here in the Icy Inc. second quarter, it is Bucktail 14, Sheffield. Nothing. We'll be right back. More high school football on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Hi, this is Chris Rossetti from D9and10sports.com. If you're like me, you may have experienced some aches and pains like a sore back, a stiff neck, or a wonky knee. Well, I've got the place for you. The Rehab Center with six convenient locations, including in Brookville, Clarion, and Catanning, is the place to go. The friendly staff and knowledgeable doctors will get you back in the game quicker than quick. I know, I've been going to them since 2009. So the next time your back, neck, knee, shoulder, or anything else acts up, call them for an appointment at 724-478-1501. What's the recipe for surprising the kids, treating yourself, and ditching dish duty? You're looking at it. Order your Pizza Hut faves like original pan, original stuffed crust, and more at PizzaHut.com. No one out pizzas the hut. Braylon Fantaski with a 22-yard touchdown run. Brody Pence with the conversion, and Bucktail leads 14-0 here. 6.55 to go in the Icy Inc. second quarter from Sheffield. Bucks getting set to kick. It will be Brett Mason to kick off. And Jeremiah Richardson back deep for the Wolverines. 
Short kick. Fielded at the Sheffield 30, and the ball pops loose and right into the hands of a Wolverine. What a break there for Sheffield. And there is another Wolverine down on the far side of the field. But uh, what a break there as the initial return man got popped in the ball. Popped right up into the air. But Sheffield right there to catch it and advance for a few more yards as the players bounced up and is jogging off under his own power. And Sheffield will take over at its own 46, trailing 14 to nothing. And again, the Wolverines just looking for something positive offensively. We're able to convert a fourth down on their opening possession and penalties wiped out a second first down. Got another first down later, but again, forced to punt after negative yardage plays. Now trying to cut into this two score deficit. That bar gives to Richardson, trying to go around left tackle and nothing doing there. Met by a host of Bucks. Looked like that was number 54, Evan Hillier, the first one to get to him. And they're going to mark him down at the 40. Loss of six on the play. Second and 15 coming up here for Sheffield. Down under 10 seconds to go on the play clock. And Barr just gets the play off. Give off the right side to Chase Kyler, I believe, on that carry. Going to get positive yards, but it will still be a third and long. Give him a yard on that. Makes a third and 15. Five and a half minutes to play in the Icy Inc. second quarter. Yeah, Barr takes a snap, gives to Richardson. Looking to turn the corner off the right side and takes a big hit on the sideline. Looks like he got back about to the original line of scrimmage. I'll maybe give him an extra yard on that. We'll make it fourth and nine. At the Sheffield 47. Fantaski will go back to receive the punt. Kick is away. It's a short one and going to go out of bounds at the 43-yard line. That's where Bucktail will take over. Leading 14 to nothing. 4.26 to go in the Icy Inc. second quarter. Bucks looking to add to their lead. They will get the ball to start the second half. Could go for the old uh, double dip here. Score going into the half and get the ball right back. Well, they've got to go 57 yards here first. They got away with some movement up front there. The pass is complete, uh, but immediately going to the ground was Brett Mason. Uh, and it certainly looked like there was some uh, early movement on the left side of the bucktail line just as the ball was snapped. But a 
Uh, excuse me, they call that incomplete. Second and uh, ten. Bucks come out. Three receivers near side. One up top. And we've got a penalty flag. And it's, this time they are going to get Bucktail for the false start. So the Bucks will back up five yards. Makes it second and 15. Bucks get backed up to their own 38. Second down coming. And Pence fakes, rolls right, fires downfield. has got a man, and it is caught this time by Mason. And that's going to be enough for the Ty Nesta Builder Supply first down. And another Wolverine down back behind the play, and there's a flag way back at the Bucktail 25. And that was against the indication was the penalty was against Sheffield. Bucktail's going to decline that, take the first down play. I just heard the official say it was a late hit on the quarterback, and they wave it off. Or excuse me, yeah, Bucktail declines that penalty. As they are tending to the uh, injured Wolverine, getting back near the 35, that is number three, Austin Fiscus, the uh, player down, but he's getting up and walking off under his own power. And that makes a little more sense. That late hit on the quarterback is going to be added to the end of the play. And that's going to move Bucktail all the way down to the Sheffield 20. Back in the red zone are the Bucks. Just over four minutes to go here in the Icy Inc. second quarter. And Pence gives up the middle to Pettengill. And Pettengill with a solid carry. Looks like he's close to a first down. And he does have another tie nest builder supply first down for the Bucks At the 10, and it will be first and goal for Bucktail from the Sheffield 10. Another beautiful fall day here on Wolverine Mountain. And Pence gives to Mason. He tries to spin around in the hole, but a host of Wolverines there to greet him. And looks like he's going to get slight gain on the play. Bring up second and goal. You know, one of the benefits of having these uh, Saturday afternoon games is don't have to deal with the as much with the chill that's been in the air the last couple of days as fall has made its presence known here in northwestern Pennsylvania. Second and goal, and Pence on the keeper. Shakes a man. He's in for the score, but there is a flag down. We'll see if this one's going to hold up. It is a hold. Let's 
So a hold against Bucktail will wipe out the 10-yard Pence run. And it will be second and goal from the 19. Got officials blowing the whistles here. And they do put it back right on the 19. Looked like there's some confusion on where the spot should be, but it is second and goal from the 19. Pence rolls under pressure, escapes, goes to his left, down the sideline, still on his feet near the pylon, but they're going to rule him out of bounds just short of the goal line. Right down at the one. And that's where it will be third and goal. Ball spotted at the one-yard line. It's third down and goal. In the last short yardage situation, we saw Pence just keep it, go right up the middle on the sneak. We'll see if that's the route Bucktail cho chooses to go this time around. And the give is to Pettengill, and the Wolverines are there to greet him and keep him out of the end zone. Brings up a fourth and goal. Tackled by several Orange Jersey Wolverines. A loss on the play. It's like a loss of a yard on the play will make it fourth and goal. And Bucktail is going to take a timeout. We'll take it with him. We'll be right back with more high school football on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxborough. Fourth and goal coming up for Bucktail here. A minute to go in the Icy Inc. second quarter. Bucks leading Sheffield 14 to nothing. Had a third and goal from the one, and the Wolverines stood up Tanner Pettengill. It's now fourth and goal from the two. And Sheffield desperately needs a stop right here. Fourth down coming up. Pence gives to Fantaski, and he waltzes into the end zone. His third score of the afternoon. With 54 seconds to go. Bucktail going to attempt the two-point conversion again. Pence was successful on the last one with a run. He fakes. He's going to try it again, and he falls down. He just slipped trying to make that cut. There was some space there. But with 54 seconds to go, it is Bucktail 20, Sheffield Nothing. Again, the Bucks will get the ball to start the second half. We'll just stay right here for this uh, kickoff. We will not go with the dreaded score commercial, kickoff commercial, back-to-play format that so many professional and college broadcasts like to do. And it will be Brett Mason to kick for the Bucks. Jeremiah Richardson back deep for Sheffield. Mason's last kick was short. He 
it looks like a little bit of a conversation going on between the officials and some of the Bucktail players as they're getting the ball set. We got things squared away. And Mason will kick. And Richardson going to field it at the 10. Looking for the sideline. Jeremiah Richardson now cuts back, and Richardson takes a big hit, but gets it all the way out to the 45, 35 yard return there for Jeremiah Richardson. But again, can the Wolverines capitalize on this good field position? 46 seconds left to go in the first half. Trips to the far side for Barr. High snap, but he crowls it. Fires down the field. Has Hardwick. Tries to go up and get it, and it's intercepted. What a play there by Brett Mason. Dylan Hardwick tried to reach through Mason to catch the pass, and as they go to the ground, Mason comes up with it. Gives the ball back to the Bucks. Just under 40 seconds to go here in the first half they'll take over at their own 22. bucks will look to rip off a chunk play here see if they can't get themselves in better position the give is too fantastic it's a throw to mason he's got it Mason in a foot race, cuts back, and cannot escape the tackle, but it is a big play for the Bucks. Brett Mason. Thirty six yards on the pass from Fantaski to Mason. And it's first and ten from the Sheffield forty three. Just under 30 seconds to go in the half. Bucktail taking a few seconds here to get set. Ball is snapped. Fantaski on the reverse. Has some blockers in front. But breaking through and tackling Brian Dwyer is Sheffield. Bucktail is going to take a timeout. Less than 10 seconds to go here in the half. Bucktail has it at the Sheffield 35. Pulling out some gadget plays to try to punch another one in before halftime. And again, the Bucks will get the ball to start the second half. Going to have a second and one, though the down doesn't really matter here coming out of this timeout. And Pence back to pass. Fires. Balls up in the air and intercepted by the Wolverines. And they do stop the clock with two seconds left. So Sheffield will be able to run a play here. And that is the third turnover of the first half for the Wolverines. As they take over first and ten from their own nine, they have not been able to capitalize thus far. Let's 
See what Sheffield wants to do here, trailing 20 to nothing. Bar is under center. And we've got a flag, some motion up front, and it's five yards on the Wolverines. And that'll take them back to their own four. So they got two seconds to go 96 yards. And Barr is just going to kneel on it. So we head to the half. Bucktail 20, Sheffield nothing. We'll be right back with more high school football on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Ready to break into a rewarding career? Elwood National Forge can help. Elwood National Forge produces critical defense-rated parts to all branches of the United States military, meaning each day our employees are doing their part to support the men and women protecting our country. With multiple positions currently available and several career paths to choose from, Elwood National Forge offers on-site and on-the-job training, competitive pay and benefits, including 401k and insurance that start the date of hire, paid time off, and long-term job security. We'd love to support you in building a career. To learn more about becoming part of the Elwood National Forge family, visit enfjobs.com. With locations in Shippenville and Tynesta, Tynesta Builder Supply is a full-service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries, and general hardware merchandise, Tynesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tynestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. Looking for a place to hone your skills in the offseason? How about just a friendly pickup game or even a new league to join? Then head to The Hub at PF and Russell. An all-weather athletic facility, The Hub has everything you need to get your game on, from basketball and volleyball courts to indoor batting cages. And more than just an athletic facility, The Hub also plays host to special events like concerts and worship services. The Hub is a proud supporter of local athletes and wants to thank the community for all its support over the last two years. Icy Ink Screen Printing and Embroidery located at 2043 Pennsylvania Avenue East in Warren. We offer screen printing and embroidery on apparel as well as graphic design, web design, photography, and custom frames and specialize in youth fundraisers. We also offer photography, photography services and custom frames. Check out our Icebox stores online at icyink.com or give us a call at 814-688-0034. Let's meet, drink coffee, and design some cool shirts. Be cool, wear Icy. Hey, this is Joe. And this is Sketty. And we're the hosts of the Beehive Sports Podcast. Do you like uncut looks in all things sports? If you said yes, then this is a sports show for you. Live weekly shows broadcasted on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, covering everything from local sports in northwestern Pennsylvania all the way to the pros. Not to mention the hottest takes you will ever hear. Follow us on all social media platforms and tune into episodes today. Hi, Chris Rossetti here from D9and10sports.com. I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of Western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wings served on Thursday wing nights that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. And we're here at Wolverine Mountain. It's halftime, and Bucktail leads Sheffield 20 to nothing. This is the Pizza Hut halftime show. Now it's the time to order a fresh hot pizza from Pizza Hut. Order online at pizzahut.com. And remember, nobody out pizzas the hut. And it is homecoming here at Sheffield, and our uh, viewers over on Your Daily Local, part of the YDL Sports Network. Uh, would be interested to see as they crown the homecoming royalty here in Sheffield. We'll turn it over in just a minute to 
the public address announcer, J.J. Michaels, for the crowning of the king and queen. And just before we get to that, we'll go through our scoring summary brought to you by Warren General Hospital. Exceptional care, exceptionally close at Warren General Hospital. Brody Pence to Braylon Fantaski for 81 yards, 519 in the first quarter, made it 6-0 Bucktail. Fantaski was added again, a 22-yard run. Pence ran in the two-point conversion. That made it 14-0 at 655 of the second quarter. And with 54 seconds to play in the first half, it was Fantaski for the third time, a two-yard run. The conversion run failed. That is our 20 to nothing halftime score. And we will now turn it over to J.J. Michaels as the Sheffield Public Address announcer. Escorted today by her dad and will be escorted tonight to the dance by Dennis Powell. Serena Antonuccio. Next is Miss Lexi Goldway. Lexi's the daughter of Rob and Danielle Goldway. She plays volleyball, is the captain of the cheerleading squad, and participates in track. Lexi is a member of the National Honor Society, SAD, and Varsity Club, along with being the treasurer for the senior class. She enjoys working out, being outdoors, and spending time with her sister. After graduation, Lexi will be attending Indiana University for diagnostic medical sonography. Lexi enjoys volleyball bus rides with Cassidy and really hates parallel parking. Don't we all? She is escorted today by her dad. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Lexi Goldway. Next is Miss Sydney Smee. Sydney is the daughter of Anthony and Michelle Smead. She's the student council president, a member of SAD, the Envirothon team, and Art Club. She's also a cheerleader and the wrestling team's statistician. She enjoys spending time with her family, hanging out with friends, Netflix, and sleeping. Her future plans are to attend IUP for broadcast journalism and to hopefully become a news correspondent. I know a guy if you need some help. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Sydney Smee. She is escorted today, by the way, by her brother Dave, and will be escorted to the dance tonight by Mason Silva. Next is Miss Lydia Snell. Lydia is the daughter of Stephanie and Justin Snell. She's a cheerleader, a member of SAD, and the National Honor Society. She's also a statistician for the volleyball and track team. She enjoys art and music. She plans to attend Slippery Rock University or IUP to major in accounting. She's escorted today by her father. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Lydia Snell. And our final queen candidate, Miss Alexa Whipple. Alexa is the daughter of the late Jessica Camp, John Whipple, Joni Camp, and Kayla Whipple. She participates in volleyball, cheerleading, and basketball. In her free time, she enjoys walking with Sydney and working out. Alexa doesn't have a college in mind yet, but she wants to become a labor and delivery nurse or something that involves working with babies in the NICU. Alexa would like to say that she's dedicating today to her mom, Jessica, whom she loves and misses very much and she wishes to thank everyone who got her to where she is today. Alexa is escorted by her dad on the field and will be escorted to the dance tonight by Cooper Traster. Ladies and gentlemen, Alexa Ripple. And now for our king candidate. First, Mr. Colin Brown. Colin is the son of Sabrina Brown and John Brown. He participates in wrestling, weightlifting, and enjoys hanging out with friends. His future plans include attending college where he can wrestle and major in business and finance. Colin is being escorted today by Jessica Traster. Ladies and gentlemen, Colin Brown. Next 
is Connor Finch. Connor is the son of Jared and Julie Finch. He plays basketball. He also enjoys golf, weightlifting, cornhole, and watching Breaking Bad. His future plans are to attend college for either aeronautical or plastics engineering. Today, his mom is joining him on the field, and tonight, he will be taking Gracie Roman to the dance. Ladies and gentlemen, Connor Finn. Next, we have Lucas McNeil. Lucas is the son of Kyle and Lori McNeil, who participates in basketball and track, is a member of the National Honor Society and Varsity Club. He is also the senior class vice president. He enjoyed golfing in his free time. He plans to attend Slippery Rock University and major in physical therapy. And he is joined today on the field by his mom. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucas McNeil. Next is Gage Mott McAloo. Gage is the son of Eliza Baker, who plays football and basketball and is a member of the track and field team. He is the senior class president and part of the Envirothon team and team team. He enjoys weightlifting, watching Star Wars, and playing video games. He plans to attend college to major in athletic training. He is escorted today on the field by his aunt, Kayla Amoroso. Ladies and gentlemen, Gage Mott McAloo. And our final team candidate is Mr. Mason Silva. Mason is the son of Stu and Brian Silva. He participates in football and basketball and is a member of the varsity club. In his free time, he enjoys golfing, hunting, and fishing. His future plans are to attend college for electrical engineering. Mason is joined by his mom on the field today and will be escorting Sydney Smead to the dance this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, Mason Silva. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor to present to you the 2022 Homecoming King, Lucas McNeil. And the 2022 Homecoming Queen, Sydney Speed. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 2022 Homecoming Corps.
Homecoming festivities complete here at Sheffield. Congratulations to Sydney Smead and Lucas McNeil, the 2022 Queen and King. And we'll be right back with more of the Pizza Hut halftime show. High School Football on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg right after this. Whether retirement is just around the corner or years away, John Bon Giovanni, Lucas Slazak, and Adam Jack of Generational Wealth Management in Erie and Bradford are here for you. John, a Forbes-recognized best-in-state wealth advisor, Lucas and Adam provide customized investment advisory solutions and retirement planning services. Generational Wealth Management offers world-class investment services and internationally recognized insurance products from Northwestern Mutual, an industry leader. The Generational Wealth Management team provides a high level of expertise and service to their professional and business clients. Contact the Erie office at 814-651-0838 or the Bradford office at 814-368-4065 or check them out online at gwm.nm.com. Yeah, we are back here on Wolverine Mountain. Our halftime score, Bucktail 20, Sheffield 0. Bucks will receive the third quarter kickoff here from Sheffield. Now, while we have a moment, let's take a look at our out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by Swift Kennedy and Company, the official insurance provider of the YDL Sports Network. Visit them online at swiftkennedyandco.com. Swift Kennedy and Company, insurance with integrity since 1921. All these games final from Friday night. Red Bank Valley, 42. Ridgeway, 33. Central Clarion County, 48. Bradford, 7. Dubois, 24. Brookville, 14. Countersport, 22. Cameron County, nothing. Clearfield, 42. Penns Valley, 14. Kerwinsville, 33. Everett, 13. Elk County Catholic, 49. Auto Eldred, 6. Union AC Valley, 37. Kane, 19. Carn City, 35. Monotas, 6. Keystone, 41. Smithport, 14. St. Mary's, 34. Punxsutawney, 21. Your District 9 scores. Over in District 10 last night, it was Cambridge Springs, 33. Iroquois, 7. St. Francis, New York. Edges Cathedral Prep, 28 to 26. Mercer, Blanks, Cochranton, 45 nothing. Eisenhower over Lakeview, 35-13. Reynolds, 64. Maplewood, 0. Sagertown, 35. Union City, 0. Northwestern upsets Oil City, 21-20. Ethan Knox still ran for four, over 400 yards and three scores in that game. Seneca, 46. Titusville, 35. Sharpsville, 14. Greenville, 12. Sharon, 33. Wilmington, 14. Grove City on a two-point conversion with 18 seconds to go. Edges Slippery Rock, 22-21. Meadville Blanks County at 62-0. General McLean, 37. Corey, 20. Fort LaBeouf, 24. Northeast, 21. Harbor Creek, 42. Gerard, 6. Butler, 37. Erie, 20. McDowell, 48. Canada Prep Academy, 6. Your Friday night scores. This afternoon in District 9, or today in District 9, Brockway's at Port Allegheny. In District 10, St. John's Catholic Prep of, out of Maryland is at Kennedy Catholic. Mercyhurst Prep is at Franklin. Hickory's at Farrell. And Fairview is at Warren. That game will be played at Mike Shine Field in Youngsville, your out-of-town scoreboard. Again, brought to you this afternoon by Swift Kennedy and Company. Insurance with integrity since 1921. Also the official insurance provider of the YDL Sports Network. And we've got just under three minutes to go before we start the third quarter. We're going to take another quick break, pay the bills, and we'll be back with third quarter action here on the YDL Sports Network. Bucktail 20, Sheffield, nothing at the half. This is high school football powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Do you know an athlete who goes above and beyond in competition in their life? One who shows sportsmanship, compassion for others? The Brooks Who Are Lebeter Sports Person of the Year Award is made for them. The Brooks You Are Lebeter Sports Person of the Year Award is for a high school athlete who has competed in at least one full season in either District 9 or District 10 and who displays the qualities of being a good person, leader, community-minded, and wanting to make a difference. To donate to the scholarship fund or to find out more about the award, go to yourdailylocal.com backslash BHL award. For all your automotive needs, look no further than the Warren Tire Center. From new tires to tire repairs, PA state inspections, wheel alignments, and auto detailing, 
There's so much more that we can do for you, and there's no reason to go anywhere but the Warren Tire Center in Warren, Pennsylvania. With over 40 years of serving the Warren and surrounding communities, it's always been a great day at the Warren Tire Center. We offer same-day service, and walk-ins are welcome. Open Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m., the Warren Tire Center can be reached at 814-723-8050 and on the web at warrentirecenter.com. Located at 229 Liberty Street in downtown Warren, Freedom Investment Management Group has a passion for helping people manage and preserve their wealth. Partners Rob Merring and Dave Close, along with all the professionals at Freedom Investment Management Group, are committed to providing the highest level of service to our clients. Every member of our team is experienced, educated, and passionate. We intentionally maintain a low client-to-team member ratio so that we can consistently deliver concierge-like service. Simply put, we are not like many other wealth management firms. Come experience the difference. Visit us online at Freedom Wealth Co. Com. Back here in Sheffield, we'll try to get some uh, halftime stats here for you. Brought to you by the Brooks Hewitt Ledbetter Sports Person of the Year Award. You can find out more at yourdailylocal.com slash BHL Award. Congratulations to Selena Buttery, the inaugural BHL Award winner. And taking a look first for Sheffield on the ground, Jeremiah Richardson, 11 carries, 11 yards. Gage Montmacalouche, two carries for one yard. Colby Barr, three for negative six yards. And Chase Kyler, one carry for one yard. And passing for the Wolverines, Colby Barr is 0 for 3 with an interception thus far. And for Bucktail, Braylon Fantaski has two carries for 24 yards and a touchdown. Tanner Pettengill, four carries for 36 yards. Brett Mason, three for six. Brody Pence has... Four carries for 55 yards. And Brian Dwyer has one carry for eight yards. Through the air, Pence is two for five with an interception and a touchdown. That touchdown, an 81 yarder to. Fantaski, his lone catch on the day. And Mason had the other catch for... So I'm having some trouble reading my writing there. It looks like 35 yards. So 116 total passing yards for Pence. Your halftime stats, again, brought to you by the Brooks Hewitt Ledbetter Sports Person of the Year Award. The Brooks Hewitt Ledbetter Sports Person of the Year Award and a company scholarship are awarded to an athlete or athletes who compete at one in at least one full season in either District 9 or District 10 and who display qualities of being a good person, a leader, community-minded, and wanting to make a difference. You can find out more at yourdailylocal.com slash BHL Award. And our keys to the second half brought to you by Icy Ink and Warren. Let's meet, drink coffee, and design some cool shirts. Be cool, wear Icy. Visit them online, icyink.com. That's icyyink.com. Uh, for Bucktail, clean up the mistakes. Turnovers and penalties have stalled some drives. And for Sheffield, it's capitalized on those mistakes. Three turnovers in the first half, no points off those turnovers. The Wolverines have got to find a way to put the ball in the end zone. And that will wrap up. The Pizza Hut halftime show. Now is the best time to order a fresh hot pizza from Pizza Hut. You can do so online at pizzahut.com. And remember, no one out pizzas the hut. Our third quarter this afternoon brought to you by Freedom Investment Management Group. For all your financial needs, go to freedomwealthcoach.com. Also want to say thank you to the hub at PF and Russell and Fitch Disposal for bringing you this afternoon's broadcast. For all your residential and commercial disposal needs, call Fitch Disposal at 814-968-3521. So Sheffield will kick. It's Connor Derrick doing the kicking for the Wolverines. And it looks like Bucktail will have Pence and Fantaski back deep to receive the kick. Yeah. 
Derek is set. Kick is up, and we are underway here in the second half. It's going to be Fantaski taking the kick. Has some space, avoids a tackle, and gets out across midfield. And the Bucks will start at the Sheffield 47. Or excuse me, 48 is where they have that ball marked down. It's a good starting field position for the Bucks here to start the second half. And the give is to Prettengill off left tackle. Solid gain on first down. Out close to the 40. Looks like they're going to mark him down at the 42. Six yard pickup, second and four for the Bucks. And Penn's going to roll, looking to throw under some pressure. Does get it downfield. He's got a man, and it is caught. Leaping grab by Fantaski, who's having himself a whale of a ball game. That'll be a Ty Nester Builder Supply first down for the Bucks. All the way down to the Sheffield 15. 27 yards on the pitch and catch from Pence to Fantaski. Pence rolling. He's got a whole lot of green in front of him, dumps it off. And it looks like that's going to be enough for a first down. That one it goes to Brett Mason. And he will have a tightness to builder supply first down at the Sheffield four 11 yard gain there on that pass. And two plays and the Bucks have first and goal from the four. Or excuse me, three plays in their first and goal. Pence throws. Fantaski has it. Evades one tackle. Scoots into the end zone for the Bucktail touchdown. That is number four on the afternoon for Fantaski. Buck's going to line up to go for two. Give is to Pettengill, and he plows in for the conversion. So just under 10 minutes to go here in the Freedom Investment Management Group third quarter. Bucktail leads Sheffield 28 to nothing, we'll be back. More high school football on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill and Fox. Located at 229 Liberty Street in downtown Warren, Freedom Investment Management Group has a passion for helping people manage and preserve their wealth. Partners Rob Maring and Dave Close, along with all the professionals at Freedom Investment Management Group, are committed to providing the highest level of service to our clients. Every member of our team is experienced, educated, and passionate. We intentionally maintain a low client-to-team member ratio so that we can consistently deliver concierge-like service. Simply put, we are not like many other wealth managers management firms. Come experience the difference. Visit us online at freedomwealthcoach.com. We're back here on Wolverine Mountain. A four-yard pass from Brody Pence to Braylon Fantaski, followed by a Tanner Pettengill run has the Bucks leading the Wolverines 28-0. 9.39 to go here in the Freedom Investment Management Group third quarter. Mason set to kick. 
And it is taken at the 20. And down the sideline and finally pushed out of bounds. Joe Cabot on the return for Sheffield. Has the Wolverines out near midfield at their own 48. And that is something the Wolverines have had good starting field position so far here this afternoon. Just, again, this offense not able to find a way to get the ball in the end zone. Let's see what the Wolverines can do with it here. First and 10 from their own 48. Bar in the gun. Bobbled snap, gets it off to Montmacalouche. Mont he tries to reverse field, now cuts up. And Montmacalouche somehow turned that into a positive play for the Wolverines. Only a gain of a yard. <laughs> that play, for all intents and purposes, looked like it was going to be, at the very least, a loss, maybe a, a turnover after the bobbled snap. But Montmacalouche able to find a way to go forward, make it second and nine. For Sheffield. And give to Mont McAlouche again, trying the left side, and nothing doing there. Gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. And again, that was uh, Colton Fleischer and Evan Hillier combining on the stop. And Hillier has spent most of the afternoon defensively in the Wolverines' backfield. Makes it a Luton's Plumbing Heating and Air Conditioning third and nine for Sheffield. Trips to the far side. Hardwick, the lone receiver near side. Barr looking to throw. Looking for Hardwick, overthrew him and nearly picked off by Pence. High and behind the target there was Colby Bard. And it looks like the Wolverines are going to punt. So it'll be Barr back to kick. And Fantaski back to receive. Barr gets the kick away, bounces at the 30, and takes a Sheffield roll down to the 24. Yeah, that's where Bucktail will take over. Looking to add to their lead here. First down from the Bucktail, 24. Bucks come out, send three receivers out to the far side. It's just Pettengill in the backfield for Pence. Pence throws. It is caught. And Fantaski ducking, diving, dancing, trying to make some positive yards there. Ends up going for about four. Make it second and six. And Pence gives right up the gut. No, he doesn't. He keeps it. And then pitch is late. And out for the Tynesta Builder Supply first down. So that was Mason taking the pitch. Well-designed play there for the Bucks. Looked like Pettengill had gotten it up the gut, and instead Pence came around on the option. Pitched late to Mason, and they get the first down. Yeah. 
At their own 48-yard line are the Bucks. Fake again. Pence pitches again and hit right after the pitch was Fantaski. Going to gain about a yard on that play. Sheffield defense read it this time. Dylan Hardwick making the stop. One yard pickup, second and nine coming up for the Bucks. Trips to the near side. Pettengill gets the handoff right up the gut. Breaks through a couple of tackles. Splits the defense, carrying defenders down to the 39. Will be another Ty Nesta Builder Supply first down for the Bucks. Picks up a Bucks first down. First and 10 to Sheffield 39. And this drive being built by Ty Nesta Builder Supply with locations in Shippenville and Ty Nesta. Visit them online, tynestabuilders.us. Pass out to Fantaski, who's got the edge. Fantaski looking for touchdown number five. He's got it. Thirty-nine yards on the touchdown reception, his fifth of the day. And we are a two-point conversion away from a running clock here for the Bucks. And the give is to Mason. The ball is loose. And so the conversion is no good. But it is Bucktail 34, Sheffield nothing, third quarter, brought to you by Freedom Investment Management Group. We'll be back with more high school football on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Girl in Foxburg. Looking for a place to hone your skills in the offseason? How about just a friendly pickup game or even a new league to join? Then head to the Hub at PF and Russell. An all-weather athletic facility, the Hub has everything you need to get your game on, from basketball and volleyball courts to indoor batting cages. And more than just an athletic facility, The Hub also plays host to special events like concerts and worship services. The Hub is a proud supporter of local athletes and wants to thank the community for all its support over the last two years. Back here in Sheffield, Braylon Fantaski's fifth touchdown. This one, a 39-yard pass from Brody Pence. As Bucktail in front, 34 to nothing. 4.52 4.52 to go here in the Freedom Investment Management Group third quarter. Bucks getting set to kick. It will be Mason to kick. Jeremiah Richardson back deep to receive for the Wolverines. Kick is away. And Richardson going to take it at the 10. To the sideline and out of bounds. Looks like he got out to the 26. That's where Sheffield will take over. Again, Wolverines offense struggled to maintain consistency, get positive yards. Throughout a possession. Twins right for bar. And he's back to pass. And has Richardson in the flat. Richardson puts on some moves. Goes out of bounds. (laughs) 
And Richardson is out to the 38-yard line. Seven-yard pickup, or excuse me, 33-yard line. Seven-yard pickup for Richardson on that little swing pass. I believe that was the first completion of the day for the Wolverines. So we are under four minutes to go in the third quarter. Bar back to pass again. Swings it out to Mont McAloosh this time. And Mont McAloosh close to the first down. We'll see where they spot it. And they are going to call that a tie nest to builder supply. First down for Sheffield. Out to the 37. Couple of little swing passes, one to Richardson, one to Mont McAloosh. And the Wolverines have a first down. And bar back to pass again, under pressure, fires it up down the sideline and into traffic and incomplete. Looked like he was trying to hit uh, Richardson down the sideline, but nothing doing there. Brings up second and 10. Second down coming up for the Wolverines. Barr looking for Hardwick just off his hands. It would have been a big gainer there, but Barr's pass just a little bit out in front. And that will bring up a Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning third down for Sheffield. Under 10 seconds left on the play clock as Sheffield breaks the huddle. Going to have to get this off quick. And they are not going to. And we've got to delay a game on the Wolverines. So that will make it third and 15 now. From the 32. Bar back to pass. Trying to swing it out to Richardson and too high over his head. That will make it fourth and 15. Final score, Penn State 33, Central Michigan 14. Bar back to punt. There's going to be another short kick, and uh, Wolverines have no intention of letting Fantaski touch this ball on the punt return. And it's going to be marked down at the Sheffield 48, where the Bucks will take over. Again, it's been all Braylon Fantaski here this afternoon. 81-yard reception in the first quarter to open the scoring. 22-yard run and a two-yard run in the second quarter, a four-yard pass and a 39-yard pass reception in the third quarter so far. Five touchdowns on the board for the Bucs, all five from Braylon Fantaski. And the Bucs take over. And fumble, and Sheffield's on it. 
the third of the afternoon for the Wolverines. Matt Lobdell falls on it for Sheffield. And with two and a half minutes to go here in the Freedom Investment Management Group third quarter, Sheffield has a first down inside Bucktail territory. At the Bucktail 46 are the Wolverines. Uh, bar fakes to Mont McAloosh, rolls, fires, has a man in just over the head of his intended receiver, Dylan Hardwick. Brings up second down. And again, that was another play. Hardwick looked like he had some space to operate. And Bars pass just out of his reach. Second down here for the Wolverines. Trips right. Hardwick, the lone receiver, left. And Sheffield's going to be forced to burn a timeout here. Just taking too long getting the play and breaking the huddle as the play clock was winding down. We'll take a quick time out with them. This is High School Football on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Girl in Foxburg. Hi, Chris Rossetti here from D9and10sports.com. I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wings served on Thursday wing nights that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. <laughs> Welcome back to Wolverine Mountain here in Sheffield. 2.20 to go in the Freedom Investment Management Group third quarter. Bucktail leading Sheffield 34-0. Wolverines have a second and 10 from the Bucks 46, trying to capitalize on their third fumble recovery of the afternoon. Barr swings it out to Richardson, and he goes backwards. No room to run there for Richardson. Pettengill all over him. Going to bring up a third and looks like about 17. And when you get backed up on third and long, call Luton's Plumbing, heating and air conditioning to get you moving again. Visit them online at lutonsplumbing.com. So, again, the Wolverines get the turnover and then just moving backwards right now. Bar fakes, rolls right, looking, hits Richardson, and then Richardson is hit. Brody Pence on the stop. Big stick there from Pence. Will bring up a fourth down. As Fantaski goes back to receive the punt, we'll see if uh, Barr tries to angle this one out of bounds again. Barr gets it, kicks, and short kick at the 30. And Sheffield thinks Bucktail touched it, and they did. The Wolverines have it again. Ball bounces off a Bucktail player, and the Wolverines hopped on it. And it looked like the Bucktail player just didn't realize the one closest to the ball anyway that it had touched one of his teammates. And now the Wolverines, instead of turning the ball over, have it first and 10 from the Bucktail 29. And again, a golden opportunity for this Wolverines offense that has to find a way to get this ball into the end zone. 
Again, just under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Game most likely out of reach at this point. But if Sheffield can find a way to at least get the ball in the end zone here in the third quarter, would give themselves a fighting chance in the way the the Bucks have put the ball on the ground this afternoon. Absolutely anything could happen from there. Yeah, Bucktail took a timeout after that uh, misplay on the punt. And Sheffield comes out first and 10 from the Bucktail 29. Barr takes a snap, gives it to Richardson. Richardson looking to get behind Mont McAloos, turns the corner. Jeremiah Richardson down the sideline. Has a tie and Esta Builder Supply first down for Sheffield. And a flag comes in late, well behind the play. And it looks like. Sixty-seven Xavier Jarrett going to get flagged, maybe perhaps said something. And unsportsmanlike conduct against Bucktail is going to give the Wolverines first and goal at the Bucktail four-yard line. And Barr gives to Richardson, off left tackle, he's in for the, end, the touchdown. Jeremiah Richardson has Sheffield on the board. And finally, those bucktail miscues come back to haunt the Bucks. Sheffield going to line up to go for two. And Barr keeps, keeps, fires, end zone is caught. Number nine, Mason Silvis on the reception. And with... Just about 45 seconds to go here in the third quarter. It is Bucktail 34, Sheffield 8. We'll be back with more high school football on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Need plumbing, heating, or air conditioning services in Western PA? Then call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning in Clarion today at 814-226-8695. At Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning, we believe that a service-oriented business like ours should give you quality care and a quick response time. That's why we stand on our promise, offering you reliable 24-hour service that gets your job done right when you need it. We can also be found on the web at lutonsplumbing.com. Again, that number is 814-226-8695. A four-yard run by Jeremiah Richardson and Barr to Silvis for the conversion. And it's 34-8 Bucktail leads Sheffield. Just a tick under 45 seconds to go here in the Freedom Investment Management Group third quarter. Wolverines capitalize on a couple of bucktail miscues, recover the punt, and the unsportsmanlike conduct gave him first and goal. And Pence has the kickoff and still on his feet and then goes out to the sideline. Again, this was something said at the half that Bucktail had to clean up the mistakes. There's a penalty flag down near midfield. And we've got unsportsmanlike conduct, it looks like. And that's against Sheffield. I believe they said that was on number 39. That would be Nathan Quigley. Either 39 or 29. Couldn't hear the number. It's either Cabot or Quigley. 
But that is going to add 15 yards to the end of that kickoff return and set Bucktail up in Sheffield territory. At the Sheffield 48 is where the Bucks will take over, leading 34 to 8. And give right off right tackle. One man trips up Fantaski. That was Dylan Hardwick on the stop, or Fantaski would have had his sixth of the game. But it is a tie nest of builder supply first down for Bucktail at the Sheffield 38. And the Bucks do not have to run another play this quarter, and it does not look like they have any intention of doing so. And we will head to the fourth. Bucktail 34, Sheffield 8. We'll be right back with more high school football on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Hi, Chris Rossetti here from D9and10sports.com. I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wings served on Thursday wing nights that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. What's the recipe for surprising the kids? Treating yourself and ditching dish duty? You're looking at it. Order your Pizza Hut faves like original pan, original stuffed crust, and more at PizzaHut.com. No one out pizzas the hut. Just about set to start the fourth quarter here on Wolverine Mountain. Bucktail leads Sheffield 34-8. to Braylon Fantaski has all five touchdowns for the Bucks. Jeremiah Richardson, the lone scorer for Sheffield. Bucktail has first down to start the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter brought to you by Warren Tire Center, where it's always a great day at Warren Tire Center. Visit them online, warrentirecenter.com. Mason takes a handoff off right tackle. Pick up a couple. Austin Fisk is on the stop. And for all your automotive leads, needs, look no further than Warren Tire Center from new tires, tire repairs, PA state inspections, wheel alignments, and auto detailing, and so much more. There's no reason to go anywhere but Warren Tire Center. Check them out online, warrentirecenter.com. also want to say thanks to the hub at PFN Russell and Fitch Disposal for bringing you this afternoon's ballgame. Don't forget, still time to get up to Jake's Rocks Trail Fest at the Trails of Jake's Rocks. And Pent's going to keep it on the rollout, avoids one man, shakes another, and is going to choose discretion as the better part of Valor there and run out of bounds. Set that bounds at the 34-yard line. Out at the 44, we'll make it third and six for the Bucks. If you are in the area of Kinzu Dam, Kinzu Beach, head on out to Trails at Jake's Rocks. You can park down at Kinzu Beach, take a shuttle on up to the trailhead, food, music, shuttle service, and of course, all the great trails at Jake's Rocks. So much more going on. It's Jake's Rocks Trail Fest. Today, until 6 and tomorrow, 10 to 2. Give is to Pettengill. Spins around. Going to fall forward. Looks like he's going to be just shy of the first down. Make it fourth and one. Pence going to keep it himself, and he has plenty for the first down, and then some. Pence 
Picks up a buck tail, first down. First and 10 at the Sheffield, 23. That's a tightness to builder supply first down for the Bucks at the Sheffield 23. Bucks on the move again. This has been Braylon Fantaski all day. All five touchdowns so far for Bucktail. Let's see if they turn to him again here. He's in the backfield with Pettengill and Mason. They do give to Fantaski. Off right tackle. Pick up about six or seven on the play. Tackle by Fiskus and We'll give him six. Call it second and four. Second and four coming up for the Bucks, And they give and hit immediately. It's like that was number 35, Colton Fleischer on the carry. Freshman getting some work here in the fourth quarter. And so Luton's plumbing, heating, and air conditioning, third down for Bucktail. And the give is to Mason, and he's hit. Going to be dropped probably for a loss on third down. Trio of Wolverines there to greet him. Alex Marfink, Gage Mont McAloosh, and Matt Lobdell combined for the stop. Brings up a fourth down for Bucktail. And the official is calling the captains from both teams out. It sounds like maybe things are getting a little chippy down on the field, and the officials trying to uh, get that under control before things get out of hand. And with the discussion complete, we'll bring up fourth down. And regardless of what happens here, Bucktail has done exactly what he needed to do on this drive. As they're going to chew up at minimum five minutes off the fourth quarter clock. And Pence going to keep it around the right side. And he's got enough for the first down, though there is a flag. Pence still on his feet, and the ball comes out at the end. And uh, penalty flag is way back by the 16 or 17-yard line. I believe they ruled Pence was down before the ball came out, and this penalty looks, for all intents and purposes, like it's going against Bucktail which is going to wipe out that first down run. This is a hold against the Bucks, And that will make it fourth and... It's like about 16 now coming up. But again, almost a, a benefit here to Bucktails. They're going to be able to kill some more of this fourth quarter clock. And the ball's on the ground again. So Bucktail recovers, but it doesn't matter. Sheffield's going to take over on downs. 
And again, Bucktail just issues with the center quarterback exchange, the quarterback to running back handoff exchange, has put the ball on the ground a number of times this afternoon. Sheffield's fallen on it. This one results in a turnover on down. So even though they recover the fumble, it is Sheffield ball. With six and a half minutes to go here in the Warren Tire Center fourth quarter. Uh, barring something absurdly ridiculous, Bucktail is going to get its second win of the season. And we get a whistle again. Not sure what this one is about. Timeout. Bucktail. As Bucktail calls another timeout, we'll take it with him. High school football on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Golfing at one of the prettiest golf courses around is what you get when you play around at Hunter Station Golf Club just outside of Tanesta. Located in the Allegheny Mountains with a spectacular view of the Allegheny River, Hunter Station offers something for everyone. The rolling hills of the front nine, coupled with a back nine situated along the banks of the Allegheny River, create some of the best views in all of northwestern PA. And when you're done with your round, enjoy a delicious meal or a cold drink in our restaurant and bar. Looking for a place to stay? Hunter Station has you covered there too with play and stay packages. Find out more at HunterStation.com. Back here on Wolverine Mountain, Sheffield after the turnover on downs, takes over first and 10 from its own 28, trailing 34 to 8 here, six under just under six and a half to go here in the Warren Tire Center fourth quarter from Sheffield. Bar back to pass, swings it out to Mont McAloosh. Mont McAloosh has a whole lot of green in front of him. Gage Mont McAloosh, one man to beat. He's going to go all the way, Gage Mont McAloosh, for the Sheffield touchdown. 72 yards for Mont McAloosh. Gives the... Uh, Hometown crowd, something to cheer about here late in this ball game. Yeah, the Wolverines are going to attempt the two point conversion. And Barr going to keep it himself, looking for the corner, tosses in, and it is caught for the conversion. Silvis again. Just over six minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. It is Bucktail 34, Sheffield 16. We'll be right back. More high school football on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxbury. Hey, this is Joe. And this is Sketty. And we're the hosts of the Beehive Sports Podcast. Do you like uncut looks in all things sports? If you said yes, then this is a sports show for you. Live weekly shows broadcasted on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, covering everything from local sports in northwestern Pennsylvania all the way to the pros. Not to mention the hottest takes you will ever hear. Follow us on all social media platforms and tune into episodes today. A 72-yard pass from Colby Barr to Gage McAloosh makes it 34-16, Bucktail leading Sheffield. Just over six minutes to go in the Warren Tire Center fourth quarter, and that ball goes down and it's just barely recovered by Bucktail. It would have been very interesting if Brian Dwyer had not been able to fall on that ball as a Wolverine player was closing in on it, but Bucktail's gonna take over first and 10 from its own 28. I'll call it 29 is where they're going to mark them. And, and again, this is a game. Bucktail's controlled the game for the most part, but mistakes, penalties, 
fumbles especially have really hurt the Bucks and allowed Sheffield to just kind of hang around. And Pence pitches to Fantaski, and Fantaski's got the corner. Braylon Fantaski down the sideline. Fantaski looking to answer Mont McAlew. She's going to do it. Touchdown for Bucktail. 71 yards for Fantaski. Almost exactly matching the Mont McAlew's touchdown. And Bucktail, Bucktail is going to come out and go for two. And looks like one of their players needs to uh, catch his breath a little bit. Fantasky, and they do not blame a young man. That's touchdown number six in this game. Two of those touchdowns longer than 70 yards. Had an 81-yard reception in the first quarter, 71-yard run here in the fourth. And Pence on the bootleg, shakes through and scores. Two-point conversion for Pence. And we will be right back with more high school football. Offensive explosion here in the fourth quarter from Sheffield. You're watching the YDL Sports Network. High school football powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxborough. Looking for a place to hone your skills in the offseason? How about just a friendly pickup game or even a new league to join? Then head to The Hub at PF and Russell. An all-weather athletic facility, The Hub has everything you need to get your game on, from basketball and volleyball courts to indoor batting cages. And more than just an athletic facility, The Hub also plays host to special events like concerts and worship services. The Hub is a proud supporter of local athletes and wants to thank the community for all its support over the last two years. Braylon Fantaski's sixth touchdown of the game, a 71-yard run, extends the Bucktail lead to 42-16. That came first play from scrimmage following a 72-yard bar to Mont McAloose touchdown pass. And Bucktail getting set to kick off. And uh, this game suddenly has become an offensive explosion here in the fourth quarter. Mason kicks deep, and it's going to be Richardson at the 15. Jeremiah Richardson trying to find the sideline. Cuts back inside, and he's out near midfield. Solid return there, about 35 yards for Jeremiah Richardson. Call it 34. They mark him down at the 49. So that's where the Wolverines will take over. And I think at this point, they're required to give it to Mont McAloosh, see if he can answer Fantaski with a 51 yard run. That's just my opinion, though. And because I'm doing this alone, mine's the only one that counts today. So, first and 10 for Sheffield from its own 49. Trailing 42 16. Midway through the fourth quarter, fourth quarter brought to you by Warren Tire Center. Give us to Richardson. Shakes one man in the backfield, trying to turn the corner. Jeremiah Richardson is out into the open field, and he's got a first down for Sheffield. Out to the 39. Tying us to Builder Supply. First down, Wolverine. First and 10 from the Bucktail 39. Richardson and Silvis split to the near side. Hardwick up top. Bar to Silvis. And Silvis shakes the tackle. Still on his feet. We'll pick up a couple. Mason Silvis has a couple. Two-point conversion receptions on the afternoon. So we tick under five minutes to go here in the Warren Tire Center fourth quarter. I 
Uh, Mike Barry from the sideline yelling to his team, let's go, let's go, let's go. Seven, or excuse me, just under 15 seconds left on the play clock. Trips near side again. Uh, Barr going to swing it out to Silvis, and he's hit and dropped for a loss. And Sheffield is going to call a timeout. Timeout, And we'll take a quick one with them. This is high school football in the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. For all your automotive needs, look no further than the Warren Tire Center. From new tires to tire repairs, PA state inspections, wheel alignments, and auto detailing, there's so much more that we can do for you, and there's no reason to go anywhere but the Warren Tire Center in Warren, Pennsylvania. With over 40 years of serving the Warren and surrounding communities, it's always been a great day at the Warren Tire Center. We offer same-day service, and walk-ins are welcome. Open Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Warren Tire Center can be reached at 814-723-8050 and on the web at warrentirecenter.com. As Sheffield comes out of the timeout, has a Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning third and long coming up, 4.22 to go in the Warren Tire Center fourth quarter. Barr takes a snap, looking to throw, under pressure, he fires, and into no man's land, and incomplete. Couldn't really tell who he was looking that for. And we'll call Quigley, the intended receiver, was the closest one to it, but it is fourth down now for Sheffield. Barr takes a snap, fakes, rolls, and Barr's going to take it himself and not anywhere close to first down yardage on that carry. So the Wolverines will turn it over on downs. Bucktail takes over on its own 38, leading 42 to 16. This is a tick over four minutes to go here in the Warren Tire Center fourth quarter. Bucks come out for first down. And again, some confusion. And Fantaski's got it. And he's going to turn the corner. And Braylon Fantaski just going to run out of bounds. He does have another tightness to build or supply first down to midfield for the Bucks. It has been the uh, Braylon Fantaski show here this afternoon. Six touchdowns on the day. And the ball is ripped out. Now they're going to call him down. Oh, man. Wolverines almost had another fumble recovery. That was uh, Yasiniak on the carry. Yasiniak on the carry. Fumble on the play. Penalty flag also down. And there's a flag down back near the line of scrimmage. That was going to be a big loss for Yasiniak. 
And it is against Bucktail, and Sheffield's going to decline it, take the lost yardage. And the down, it was an illegal formation against Bucktail. So the ball now is back at the Bucktail 40. It's a 10-yard loss on the play. Fantasky hands off right up the gut. Nothing doing there. Number 35, Colton Fleischer on the carry. Fleischer on the carry. Derek on the tackle. And that will make it third and 20. Okay. And of course, don't forget, if you haven't heard enough this afternoon, when you get backed up on third and long, call Luton's Plumbing, Heating and Air Conditioning to get you moving again. Visit them online, lutonsplumbing.com. We are under three minutes to go here in the Warren Tire Center fourth quarter. Uh, Bucktail going to pick up win number two on the season. And the Sheffield win the streak will extend to 15. And the handoff and hit immediately and driven backwards. That was Matt Lobdell in on the stop for Sheffield. Jeremy Gallagher on the handoff. Was Jeremy Gallagher on the carry on the carry, excuse me. And Lobdell got there about the time Gallagher took the handoff and just drove him backwards. Brings up a fourth down. And if I am not mistaken, this will be the first bucktail punt of the ball game. Comes with two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Richardson back deep for Sheffield. Or excuse me, that's Cabot. Goes over his head. And it is going to be downed at the Sheffield 26. That's where the Wolverines will take over. Likely the their last possession of the ball game here. So first down coming up for the Wolverines. Trailing here, 42-16. Minute 54 to go in the Warren Tire Center fourth quarter. Twins to each side for Barr. He's going to look to throw. Swings it out to Mont McAloosh. And Mont McAloosh trying to escape. The grip of Colton Fleischer and just could not. Fleischer had a hold of Mont McAloosh's hand and was not about to let go. Short gain on the play. Actually, right back to the line of scrimmage. So, second and 10. Mont McAloosh, the sidecar for Barr. Barr back to pass. Throws down the sideline. Silvis has a step. Silvis makes the catch. Still on his feet. And Silvis down inside Bucktail territory. And Sheffield going to take a timeout. Big reception for Mason Silvis. All the way down to the Bucktail 36. It's a big play for Sheffield. With just under a minute to go here in the Warren Tire Center fourth quarter. We're going to stay right here. We will take a commercial break at the end of the game before the postgame show. You want to stay tuned for that. Well, our scoring summary and player of the game. And if I can convince... My uh, Eisenhower broadcast partner, Cody Elms, to send me up some stats. I'll try to get you some stats for the end of this ballgame as well. 
uh, stats and scoring summary is going to be a whole lot of Braylon Fantaski. Six touchdowns this afternoon. 81-yard reception, 22-yard run, 2-yard run, 4-yard reception, 39-yard reception, and a 71-yard run. So the Ty Nesta Builder Supply first down for Sheffield. Into Bucktail territory. Bar surveying, fires over the middle, has Hardwick, and now it's Silvis comes up with it. Mason Silvis into the end zone. 36 yards from Bar to Silvis for the Sheffield touchdown. Uh, Wolverines will go for two. It's been Barta Silvis on the two-point conversions thus far. Bar rolls. Rolls. There's a flag down. Bar's going to get the corner. Does not get in. Hit just before the pylon. We'll see what the penalty flag is. Looks like it's going to be against Sheffield. I imagine that'll be declined. So with just less than a minute to go here in the fourth quarter, it is Bucktail 42, Sheffield 22. We'll be back for the end of this one right after this on the YDL Sports Network, high school football powered by the Allegheny Grill and Fox. Hi, Chris Rossetti here from D9and10sports.com. I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of Western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wings served on Thursday wing nights that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. Hey, 36-yard pass. From Colby Barr to Mason Silvis makes it 42-22. Bucktail leads. And the Bucks will get the ball back just under a minute to go here in the Warren Tire Center fourth quarter. And uh, if they so choose, Bucks should be able to just kneel on it. Sheffield's burned a couple of timeouts already here in the second half. And the attempted onside kick is not going to work. That ball never left the 40-yard line. Just rolled right down the 40-yard line. Uh, I've been doing this a, a long time, folks. I don't think I've ever seen an onside kickoff do that. Uh, the, the kicker tried to kick it. Obviously trying to get the, the bounce there, uh, Connor Derrick, and it just rolled right off the tee and right down the 40-yard line. That's where Bucktail will take over, first and 10. And Benz is going to kneel on it. And they're going to have to do one more snap here, but that's going to do it. Bucktail's going to come away with its second win of the season. But it sure did get interesting or exciting in the fourth quarter as both teams trading some uh, long touchdown plays. But at the end of the day, it will be a 20-point Bucks victory, 42-22 to 22 over Sheffield. Bucktail picks up its second win of the year. Sheffield falls to 0 and 4, and the Sheffield win the streak reaches 15 games. And as the final seconds tick off, and the players come to midfield for the handshake, we're going to take a commercial break and be right back with the post game show. Don't go anywhere. This is high school football on the YDL Sports Network, powered by the Allegheny Girl in Foxburg. Ready to break into a rewarding career? Elwood National Forge can help. 
Elwood National Forge produces critical defense-rated parts to all branches of the United States military, meaning each day our employees are doing their part to support the men and women protecting our country. With multiple positions currently available and several career paths to choose from, Elwood National Forge offers on-site and on-the-job training, competitive pay and benefits, including 401k and insurance that start the date of hire, paid time off, and long-term job security. We'd love to support you in building a career. To learn more about becoming part of the Elwood National Forge family, visit enfjobs.com. With locations in Chip and Phil and Tynesta, Tynesta Builder Supply is a full-service home improvement center specializing in everything you need to build or remodel your home. From power tools and accessories to paint and sundries and general hardware merchandise, Tynesta Builders has everything you need to get your project done quickly. Find out more at tynestabuilders.us and like them on Facebook. Looking for a place to hone your skills in the offseason? How about just a friendly pickup game, or even a new league to join? Then head to The Hub at PF and Russell. An all-weather athletic facility, The Hub has everything you need to get your game on, from basketball and volleyball courts to indoor batting cages. And more than just an athletic facility, The Hub also plays host to special events like concerts and worship services. The Hub is a proud supporter of local athletes and wants to thank the community for all its support over the last two years. IC Ink Screen Printing and Embroidery, located at 2043 Pennsylvania Avenue East in Warren. We offer screen printing and embroidery on apparel as well as graphic design, web design, photography, and custom frames, and specialize in youth fundraisers. We also offer photography, photography services and custom frames. Check out our Icebox stores online at icinc.com or give us a call at 814-688-0034. Let's meet, drink coffee, and design some cool shirts. Be cool, wear Icy. Hey, this is Joe. And this is Scotty. And we're the hosts of the Beehive Sports Podcast. Do you like uncut looks in all things sports? If you said yes, then this is a sports show for you. Live weekly shows broadcasted on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, covering everything from local sports in northwestern Pennsylvania all the way to the pros. Not to mention the hottest takes you will ever hear. Follow us on all social media platforms and tune into episodes today. Hi, Chris Rossetti here from D9and10sports.com. I wanted to take a second to tell you about one of the best restaurants in all of Western Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg, PA. With indoor and outdoor dining, you can enjoy prime rib all weekend long, or perhaps it is their full wings served on Thursday wing nights that you're after. From celebrating a special occasion to hanging out with family and friends, the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg is the place to be. As they like to say, you come for the food and you stay for the view. Reserve your table today at AlleghenyGrill.com. Whether retirement is just around the corner or years away, John Bon Giovanni, Lucas Slazak, and Adam Jack of Generational Wealth Management in Erie and Bradford are here for you. John, a Forbes recognized best in state wealth advisor, Lucas and Adam provide customized investment advisory solutions and retirement planning services. Generational Wealth Management offers world class investment services and internationally recognized insurance products from Northwestern Mutual, an industry leader. The Generational Wealth Management team provides a high level of expertise and service to their professional and business clients. Contact the Erie office at 814. 814- 651-0838 or the Bradford office at 814-368-4065 or check them out online at gwm.nm.com What's the recipe for surprising the kids, treating yourself, and ditching dish duty? You're looking at it. Order your Pizza Hut faves like original pan, original stuffed crust, and more at pizzahut.com. No one out pizzas the hut. Need plumbing, heating, or air conditioning services in Western PA? Then call Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning in Clarion today at 814-226-8695. At Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning, we believe that a service-oriented business like ours should give you quality care and a quick response time. That's why we stand on our promise, offering you reliable 24-hour service that gets your job done right when you need it. We can also be found on the web at lutonsplumbing.com. Again, that number is 814-226-8695. And welcome in to the Allegheny Grill of Foxburg post-game show. 
Your final here from Sheffield, Bucktail 42, Sheffield 22. The Bucks pick up their second win of the season, both are coming against the Wolverines. Let's take a look now at our scoring summary this afternoon, brought to you by Warren General Hospital. Exceptional care, exceptionally close at Warren General Hospital. In the first quarter, it was Brody Pence to Braylon Fantaski for 81 yards. The conversion was no good. That came at the 519 mark, made it 6-0 Bucktail. In the second quarter, Fantaski was added again, a 22-yard run at 655. Pence ran in the conversion. And a two-yard run with 54 seconds to go made it 20 to nothing at the half. In the third quarter, more Fantaski, a four-yard pass from Pence. Tanner Pettengill ran in the conversion at 939, made it 28-0. Fantaski, a 39-yard reception from Pence. Conversion no good at 452, made it 34 nothing. Sheffield got on the board thanks to a Jeremiah Richardson four-yard run. Colby Barr to Mason Silvis for the conversion with 47 seconds to play in the third, made it 34 to eight. In the fourth, a 72 yard pass from Barr to Gage Mont McAlouche. And again, Mason Silvis on the conversion reception made it 34 16 with 617 to play. Fantaski answered right back, first play from scrimmage, a 71 yard run. Pence ran in the conversion with 602 to go. It was 42 to 16. And with 57 seconds left in the ballgame, Mason Silvis. A 36-yard pass from Colby Barr. The run failed. Your final, 42-22. to uh, I don't think there's any big secret here. Our Jim Kelly player of the game, powered by the Allegheny Gorilla of Foxburg. Bucktails, Braylon Fantaski. Six touchdowns on the afternoon. Two of them longer than 70 yards. A 22-yard run, a two-yard run, a 39-yard pass. Uh, just did it all for the Bucks. Even had a punt return touchdown on the uh, opening possession called back due to a penalty. Was just all over the field. Uh, absolutely no question. Our Jim Kelly player of the game powered by the Allegheny Grill of Foxburg. Uh, we're going to try to get him on um, the post game, but uh, time constraints and they're still chatting on the field. So uh, we're going to have to get out of here. Don't forget to stay tuned to the YDL Sports Network. Next weekend, we will have more football action for you and throughout the week, volleyball and soccer as well. All the scores, all the recaps, everything you need to know in District 9 and District 10 on D9 and 10 sports.com powered, or excuse me, part of the YDL Sports Network. From Sheffield, this is Brian Hagberg, Bucktail 42, Sheffield 22. Thanks for watching this afternoon and enjoy the rest of your weekend.